After installation, plug in the RF generator and turn on the main switch on the back of the unit. A self-test will automatically commence. The red, blue, and green LED lights will be active. When the red and blue lights go off and the green light is flashing slowly, press and hold the Power On mode button for at least 3 seconds and until the Madari logo appears. The generator will automatically go into the setup mode when it is ready. Follow the on-screen instructions for connections to the generator. 1. Connect the compatible dispersive electrode pad. 2. Plug in the foot pedal to the back of the generator. 3. Attach the connecting cable to the Seika handpiece and connect to the generator. 4. Place the irrigation tubing through the slot in the pump on the right side of the generator. Lay the elastic portion in the groove inside the pump with caution to avoid stretching or tension to the tubing. Connect to a chilled bag of sterile water. Verify that the clamp on the irrigation line is open to ensure proper flow. Connect the irrigation tubing to the base of the handle. Inspect the Seika handpiece for symmetrical needle extension. Extend and retract the needles to ensure they are working properly. Push the prime button on the lower right of the generator to initiate priming of the Seika handpiece. Inspect irrigation exit ports and ensure water flows through the device near the base of each needle. Push the prime button again to stop the prime cycle. Then retract the needles by pressing the thumb controlled needle release button. Set the wall suction to 100 to 160, but wait to connect the suction to the handpiece until after insertion into the rectum. Always make sure the needles are retracted before insertion into the patient and before moving the Seika handpiece during the procedure. Push the Power On mode button to advance to the standby mode. Note that the generator will not allow progression to the standby mode without priming first. After patient preparation and prior to first treatment, you will again push the Power On mode button to progress to the ready mode. The physician may elect to modify these suggested steps for patient preparation. The patient administers one to two enemas one hour prior to the procedure. Position the patient in the prone or lithotomy position. Prepare the patient using the standard technique for monopolar electrosurgery. Apply the dispersive electrode pad to a cleaned and hairless area on the patient's buttocks. Area must be clean and hairless to ensure proper electrical contact. The type of sedation or local anesthesia is at the discretion of the physician. If necessary, monitor patient vitals and be sure to allow enough time for the anesthesia to take effect. Perform a standard anoscopy to ensure the anal canal is clean. Note, and if possible, mark the location of the dentate line in all four quadrants. Note the height of the internal anal sphincter. It is not recommended to treat above this level. In female patients, it is recommended that an endoanal ultrasound be evaluated to determine adequate thickness of the rectovaginal septum. Also, the physician should palpate the rectovaginal wall after needle extension and prior to initiating RF energy delivery. If the rectovaginal wall is deemed too thin, the physician should avoid treating this area or place fewer treatments in this quadrant. To manually skip treatments in this quadrant, depress the forward skip button once for each treatment site you wish to skip. Additionally, the physician may skip individual treatment sites in any quadrant using the same button. Based on clinical studies, the following number and location of treatment sites has been shown to optimize effectiveness. In each quadrant, five levels are treated separated by five millimeters of linear distance beginning at the dentate line and moving in or deeper into the anal canal. This results in 20 separate treatment sites. The physician may elect to modify this based on individual patient anatomy. Like all medical procedures, Seca therapy is best undertaken with military precision. There are important steps to remember. One, position the device. With the RF generator in ready mode, insert a lubricated Seca handpiece into the rectum and line up the solid black line, zero, on the Seca clear barrel with the patient's dentate line. Note this position and the respective barrel calibration marks versus the anal verge. 
This line corresponds to the dentate line for all treatments in this position. At the doctor's discretion, repositioning can be confirmed either by direct visualization of each position through the clear barrel, or by reference to the calibration marks versus the anal verge. At the first treatment site, the handpiece is positioned at the patient's dentate line. This is deemed level 1, quadrant 1. 2. Extend the needles. While holding the handpiece firmly against the rectal wall in the proposed treatment quadrant, squeeze the trigger to extend the needles on the SACA handpiece. This will help achieve optimal impedance levels. While applying pressure, squeeze the trigger until an audible click is heard. That signifies that the needles are locked in the extended position. It is not necessary to maintain squeeze pressure on the trigger once the needles are extended and locked. 3. Prior to initiating treatment, observe temperatures and impedance. If necessary, retract the needles and reposition the seca until optimal impedance readings are achieved. In particular, optimal impedance under 200 ohms will result in a better and safer treatment cycle. 4. Press the foot pedal to initiate RF energy delivery. 5. Monitor temperatures and impedance and adjust if necessary. High or rising impedance, 400 plus, may indicate poor needle contact and may be corrected by adjusting barrel pressure, by slightly extending needles by squeezing the seca handle, or by applying pressure on the patient buttocks in the lateral or posterior quadrant treatments. If impedance rises above 500 ohms, needles will shut off for the remainder of the one-minute treatment cycle. Tip temperature readings will gradually rise to target temperature of between 85 and 95 degrees. If the tip temperature gets higher than 95 degrees on any particular needle, that needle will automatically shut off for the remainder of the one-minute treatment cycle. Note surface temperature readings on the generator screen. Optimal readings should slowly rise up to 39 degrees. If the surface temperature reaches above 39, the respective readings will turn yellow. This is a warning that surface temperature readings are nearing the shutoff limit of 42 degrees. To prevent surface temperature shutoff, increase the flow rate of the irrigation fluid to max flow. This will help to cool down the mucosa and allow the treatment to continue. An audible beep will sound, signaling the automatic end of a one-minute treatment cycle. 6. Retract the SACA needles after the 60-second treatment is complete. Moving or attempting to move a SACA handpiece with the needles extended may result in unintended tissue damage. Needle retraction is accomplished by depressing the thumb-controlled needle release button on the handle. 7. Advance the SACA handpiece 5 mm to the next treatment level. Note that the arrow on the screen directs you to the next treatment location. Untreated quadrants are indicated in blue. A green segment indicates the target site that is to be treated next, and it stays green during a 60-second treatment cycle. Completed or manually skipped treatment sites are indicated in gray. Let's review a complete SACA procedure from start to finish. First, make sure the RF generator is in the ready mode. 1. Position the SACA handpiece at level 1, quadrant 1. 2. Extend the needles. 3. Prior to initiating treatment, observe temperatures and impedance. 4. Depress the foot pedal once to begin the 60-second treatment cycle. 5. Monitor temperature and impedance and adjust if necessary. 6. Retract the needles after the treatment is complete. 7. Advance the SACA handpiece 5 mm to level 2, quadrant 1. Once again, the treatment steps are Extend the needles. Observe temperatures and impedance. Press the foot pedal to deliver RF energy. Monitor temperatures and impedance and adjust if necessary. Retract the needles after the treatment is complete. Advance the SACA handpiece 5 mm to level 3. And again, extend the needles. Observe temperatures and impedance. Press the foot pedal to deliver RF energy. Monitor temperatures and impedance and adjust if necessary. Retract the needles after the treatment is complete. 
Advance the Seca handpiece 5 mm to level 4. Extend the needles. Treat the tissue and retract the needles until all five levels are complete. Quadrant 1 is complete. Be sure to retract needles before moving to the next quadrant. Rotate the Seca handpiece 90 degrees clockwise to the second quadrant. Line up the solid black line with the dentate. Repeat five levels of RF energy delivery in quadrant 2. Rotate the Seca handpiece another 90 degrees clockwise to the third quadrant. Line up the solid black line with the dentate. Repeat five levels of RF energy delivery in quadrant 3. Rotate the Seca handpiece another 90 degrees clockwise to quadrant 4. Repeat five levels of RF energy delivery in quadrant 4. After the final treatment site in quadrant 4 is complete, again retract the needles. Remove the Seca handpiece from the patient. If the physician wishes to examine the anal canal once the procedure is complete, it is recommended to use gentle traction to avoid disruption of newly treated tissue. Once all treatments are completed, it is important to follow these instructions for generator shutdown. 1. Press and hold the Power On mode button for at least 3 seconds until the display turns off. 2. After the display turns off and the green light flashes slowly, it is safe to shut off the main switch on the back of the unit. 3. Disconnect all equipment. 4. Dispose of the Seca handpiece and single-use accessories. 5. Clean the cables and generator per instructions in the operator's manual. Studies have shown that Seca therapy reduces tissue compliance of the internal anal sphincter, improves the barrier function, and decreases the symptoms of bowel incontinence. Improvement has been shown to continue for up to six months after Seca treatment. Consult instructions provided with your Mideri RF generator for troubleshooting. To download PDFs of clinical studies, go to www.seca-therapy.com. For more information, consult instructions provided with your Seca catheter and Mideri RF generator.